Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Rivals. And in this episode of our season, as Chase Elliott, driver of the number nine Goodyear Chevrolet, Goodyear Chevrolet, we're going to Darlington Raceway for the famous Goodyear 400, the throwback weekend. Now, I know I said in the last episode we're going to drive the Hooters car, but then I realized my freaking orange in my hair is fading, so we'll just wait until I put some more in because it's starting to fade and look like yellow instead. And yeah, I got my freaking Chase Elliott shirt on from 2018. Last episode, we raced at Dover for the Dry Dean 400. Finished second for the second time in a row. But yeah, this time I just I couldn't keep up with Ryan Blaney. There was a few other cars probably faster than us, but got trapped in traffic. But that race was all freaking screwed up because everybody was taking pit stops and then getting trapped a lap down and not taking wave rounds. Instead, they just pit again. It was like Winston Cup era bullshit all over again. But here's the season standings. We gained a ton on Denny Hamlin because of that. And now we're back to a pretty large lead, 51 points. Ryan Blaney, though, he is moving forward. He has recovered extremely well since what happened at Vegas. Harvick, on the other hand, he's taking some time. But, yeah, he's getting up there. Kyle Larson is no longer on the first page. That's unfortunate. I realized at the end of the last episode, Truex used to be up front, and now he's freaking 11th. I don't know what's going on with him. But he is one point behind Eric Jones. Anyhow, uh, before we go run this race, here are the championship mode settings. We've got 100 difficulty, full damage, DNFs are on, 25% race length, four times uh, tire wear, fuel consumption, less wear, more grip, relax yellows, uh, the stages, whatever. What else we got? Um, I'm going to set it to wide skill range because Darlington is usually boring, but also great because it's hard to pass or some shit. And then we're going to have it expanded starting spread. This is just how I think of Darlington, so I feel like these are the appropriate settings. It also means the slowest guys in the field at the back are going to be extremely slow, so yeah, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. But we're going to have frequent mechanical failures because every Darlington race is just a shit show now. And uh, yeah, we are running this race a week before the one in real life. Welcome to the Lady in Black, Darlington Raceway, site of the first 500 mile race in NASCAR history. I'm Alex Hayden, and we're at one of the toughest tracks on the schedule. This track is so tough that the drivers will need to focus on surviving it before they can worry about the competition. I'm not going to freaking qualify for this because usually this is a cakewalk, like no matter what. So maybe I should have used some weird obscure settings where I just compress the field and talent levels. I got me some Risk Ice Tea, because I love Risk Ice Tea. Yeah, I got a public service announcement right here. Yeah, and y'all better heed these words. I've always really wanted a brisk iced tea car. And then finally, Gowen made one. And I'm like, why is it yellow? Why can't it look more like the can? That pissed me off so much. I want a car that has that full glorious paint job that I see on that can. Because that can has some amazing artwork. Anyhow... Yeah, no freaking practice. And you know, no qualifying. Where am I starting in this race? I'm 39th. So one guy crashed in qualifying or, or didn't need the driver meeting some inspection shit. We'll find out. The drivers are ready. The pre-race festivities have finished. And we're about ready to get racing at the track too tough to tame. Greg Biffle failed the technical inspection. He just blew up at Dover. They broke the shit so bad that it's, it's not passing inspection. Is it a safety hazard or is they cheating because they repaired it and accidentally stumbled upon some performance advantage? I don't know. Why we got like the lights on and it's dusk or I don't know, dude. I don't know what all this shit is. I think with NASCAR rivals, they went away with a bunch of the lighting changes between stages because they had that in nascar heat ultimate edition plus but All clear. No pressure from behind. i don't All think clear. they actually have that in this game maybe at night races um something like the original ones but this is not even supposed to be a night race it would be a day race and i don't know what's going on here it can't go to nighttime because it's not ever supposed to be nighttime i don't know have we had a night race yet this season be quite sad if we have had one and I just don't remember it. Oh my god. Ryan Priest is okay. I thought he was gonna wreck from that. 
I set them to like normal recovery skill or something like that. And I thought about just making it so that they're way more likely to wreck from little taps and stuff, just because of how Darlington races went last season. But uh, no, I, I think this is good enough. Um, with the freaking mechanical failures, that should do it. We should have some people wrecking out the race, some DNFs to read about. I have my mirror on right now, but I don't think I really need it until I'm running with the fast guys who can actually pass me back. Oh, snuck it around Michael McDowell. So your pull sitter was Tyler Reddick. He is still leading right now. There's Noah Gragson. Noah Gagson. Yeah, he DNF's out of... Uh... Dover. Yeah, that was the last race that we ran. I ran that race 10 minutes ago. <laughs> to get this stuff recorded for the weekend. And I don't even remember what race I just ran. Fuck me. Still there. No, don't Still actually clear. fuck me, but it's an expression. Why are they doing this again? They did this at Dover for a while, and I didn't actually get to show it, because by the time they, they got there, it, I had to pause the game, and then it, it just stopped. But they're all packed together in, like, 20, and some slow guy qualified ahead of fast guys, and now they're just stuck like this. Wide skill range expanded there. starting spread but they're not spreading out and they're all packed together i don't understand oh my god what are you doing kids if that was unnecessary hey they're doing the the, the throwbacks that's right it's a throwback race uh, have i seen any throwbacks up until this point i didn't even notice oh, we got kurt bush in the, the old bill elliott scheme we, uh, eric jones and Whatever the hell that is. Oh! Oh my god! Corey LaJoy! You schmuck! Holy shit! Okay. He was driving a throwback too. He, he really threw it back. He threw it to the back of the field. <laughs> I made a joke. Blaney. Blaney. Stop with the lap thing. After the race. Okay? Give that to me whenever I, I win. In victory lane. We'll do the victory lane. Okay? Kyle Busch, he doesn't here, have a throwback. Did he have a throwback in real life? Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought he did. He threw the, like, Elliot Sadler's 2005 car or some shit. I don't know. I mean, he throw back to, to a Ken Schrader car from, like, the mid-90s. That, that, that's what happened. Milky dokey did. So, we're up to 15. Big old gap in the field here. It's like we're having gaps in the field, but not gaps between the cars individually. Strangeness. Not what I wanted. Do not touch the wall. I'll get stuck to it. Bill Elliott's leading now. Oh boy. Oh boy. That That is, is quite a run. And nowhere to go. Oh my god. Hit the brakes. Did I just bump and run Daryl Wall trip? I mean, I guess. I moved him out of the lane. Oh shit, someone's blowing up. That is J.J. Yaley. Why do you exist? Why were you conceived? Why why are you a NASCAR? Not actually why was he conceived. Why was he conceived into the sport of stock car racing? Yeah, that, that's, that's the best way to put it. We are cracking the top ten. We are getting to the stage point. Area. My bad. Okay, he's okay. That's, uh, that's Darlington for you. No room. People get put in the wall. We haven't passed Denny Hamlin yet, so he is gaining points at this moment. We are about halfway to the stage, I wave it off here, and I, uh, suddenly I'm scrolling down the running order because there's a caution. Where's Denny Hamlin? He is... What? I didn't pass Denny Hamlin. Oh, I passed him whenever they all stacked up, and I didn't notice because I passed him so fast. That, that's what happened. So... Now yeah, we're going to fix two seconds of damage, get the tires, feel whatever. Anything to lose spots and make this more challenging. Yeah, there we go. Now Denny Hamlin has a chance. He wasn't supposed to get caught up in that bullshit anyway. Denny Hamlin's in a throwback. He's driving his... 2016 car? Yeah, that was the last time he drove this paint scheme was in 2016, right? So, you know... um, Why did he drive this again? I don't know what the story behind him driving a, a six-year-old paint scheme was. Then again, 
Jimmy Johnson did something similar of the sort in one of his last Darlington races. Oh, I'm trying to make it three wide. I made it three wide. I didn't even touch Stenhouse and that happened to him. Still not in the top ten just yet. Seven laps to go in the stage. All the leaders are staying packed together right now. They are racing each other. Is that Austin Sindrick up there? Or no, that's Joey Logano. I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Uh, I just saw like this red spoiler. Oh my god, Logano just nailed the wall. Byron's supposed to do that, not you. What, what are you doing? Okay, whatever. You know, Byron is, is leading the race, and Logano is in ninth. This is that's quite the opposite of what happened in the real Goodyear 400 in 2022. It was Logano dominating the race, and then Byron ran like in the top ten, and then suddenly everyone got eliminated, and well, he was with Logano. And that's not exactly happening in this race. But, you know, people are out. We, we have two cars who have DNF. See them sitting on pit road. I don't know who they are. I mean, I guess one was J.G. Illy and the other was Corey LaJoy. I, I guess that's the best way to put it. Sometimes drivers blow up. They throw a caution, and then it's like they're still racing despite having blown up. Why else would they be smoking? You can't just be smoking and then not be out of the race. I mean, if it's white smoke, then yeah, maybe it's a tire rub. But no, it's freaking gray smoke. So Matt Kenseth, Bill Elliott, and they're battling side by side. Oh my God, the gear lag is terrible. Did they actually have gear lag like this in real life? I didn't think so. I'm trying to pass. There's nowhere to do that. Ugh. You know, if I keep my foot in it, I'm gonna put him in the wall and we're just gonna ricochet. It's the ugliest shit. Running out of laps here. I'm gonna finally send it in. Ugh. It doesn't turn any more than that. See, I'm faster, but once I'm next to him, I don't have enough track to stay faster. Oh my goodness. Okay, so clear him into eighth. We could get sixth right here. Ow. No, it looks like we're going to as we go three wide into turn three. But neither of you decided to check up. There's no room. Well, why would you do that? Now Suarez got in the wall. I mean, he survived it. I didn't actually set him back in any way. Brad Keselowski took the lead from William Byron. He got two laps to go in the stage. It looks like Keselowski is get a stage win. And he blew up at Dover, so this is a mild recovery for him. He hasn't really been having a really good season in the first place, though he usually is running well in this game, just like Stenhouse. We haven't seen much of Stenhouse. And I don't know why. What happened to Stenhouse? He's just not running great like he was whenever I first got this team. You know they don't care enough to change the damn driver ratings to be appropriate. So, so some things just change about this game. We're in top five. This is the last lap of that stage. I'm trying to get an arc. Oh, I clipped. I clipped him, but I want it. Okay, I helped him save it. Oh, the little filthy. I'm gonna try to go for third. Ugh. I got a random shift in the middle of the corner. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, didn't have enough track to move up and actually take it. So we get seven stage points. What about Denny Hamlin? Did he crack the top ten or anything? He got held up at one point. Maybe he got back in there. No, he did not. There's Ricky Stenhouse. He got one measly stage point. So now my lead over Denny Hamlin, who's 17th after that stage, it should be 58 points. That is... One point short of a full race lead. Yeah, get get the tires, the fuel, fix the damage. So we didn't lose any spots under that caution. Oh yeah, that's by the way, Keselowski is driving uh, Mark Martin throwback from I don't know 2004 or something. I'm so used to them running the player out of room by making them run into the wall. I got clear on the inside somehow. I should have my mirror on. Why are you stopping, Reddick? Dang it! And then he did it again. I think that was because it was three wide, but I think what happened earlier with the other guy who just let Suarez hit the wall. Okay, well, kids it's just drove right around me on the outside or something. So this stage is also 21 laps. And just like I said, there's no transition to nighttime. It's not supposed to be a night race, but still we got the lights on at fucking dusk. 
Come on. I'm telling you, this is one of those easy win races. If you don't blow it hitting a wall or get in the wrong spot at a restart. It's just also difficult as crap to pass people without just running right into them. Running them into a wall because they got no room. It's pretty easy to gain a lot of time in one and two. It's easy to gain time in three and then make them check up in the middle of three and four. I'm going to push my teammate to the lead. There you go. Oh my god, I just bashed Kozlowski into the wall. I am going to check up for you. I figured I was just going to help him get a run down the straightaway. I didn't think he was going to miss the corner. So now they got the mirror on. The game's frame rate is even lower. Kenseth is here. Everyone is here. So, I mean, I guess this is good Darlington racing. But it's weird that I have this on wide skill range. And we're having this much battle for the lead. For the top ten. It's strange to me. I didn't even touch Kozlowski he's nailing the wall. He's staying next to me, so I mean, that's good for him. Now i got to work my way past Byron. I didn't do that! That's not my fault! No, don't join him! What the fuck? What the fuck? What a strange set of circumstances. I gave him a nudge in the middle of the back stretch, and then he just steamrolls into the goddamn corner. So I don't actually have damage because it was under the caution or something. That could be a DNF, though, if you've watched What Ifs channel. Can that be a DNF? That'd be so fucking funny. It would it would allow Denny Hamlin to be back into contention. Please be a DNF. Please. Day. That'd be so funny. Alright, we've got a championship battle in our hands as long as Denny Hamlin finished well. <laughs> this colossal Disaster is brought to you by Brisk Ice Tea. Okay, so let's find out who won the race. Uh, first things first. Let me go over here. Uh, so there's the yeah, Landon Castle, Garrett Smithley, Greg Biffle, normal stuff. Kyle Larson finished 33rd. Uh, normal things. Truex, I, I, his season's falling apart. Do, 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 do. Uh, Denny Hamlin finished the 16th. I'm assuming he didn't get any stage points. But yeah, that, that's a good gain for him. And there's Alex Bowman. Did William Byron win? That would be so hilarious. Oh my god, William Byron won. How? Dude, I wrecked his shit. I mean, I did not wreck his shit. He, he, you saw what happened. Man, I don't know. Whatever. So here's the point standings after that one. Uh... I gotta do some more mental math. Never mind. What am I talking about? That's some easy math. We are 32 points ahead of Denny Hamlin after that race. So he gained 19 points on us in that one. And I think we still gained points on Denny Hamlin this weekend overall, though. Bill Elliott got past Ryan Blaney in the standings. I mean, we were rooting for Ryan Blaney, but Bill Elliott, he was running really well in both Dover and Darlington, I believe. Yeah, there's William Byron, second win of the season. He's got Alex Bowman right behind him. Kevin Harvick still chilling in seventh. Uh, Eric Jones is ninth because Kyle Larson just ran such a poor freaking race. And then, yeah, there's Truex and do, 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 do. I don't know what happened to Keselowski. It looked like he was in contention to possibly win that. Where did Keselowski finish? I mean, you might have registered it in your mind, but, like, I didn't. Oh, he finished seventh. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next weekend at Kansas for the Advent Health 400. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and pull out the Hooters car for that one, since I didn't actually use that Darlington like I was planning to. And I will have my orange back in my hair by then. Hopefully. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.